Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while, obviously, since I've got to do a uh, comic book video proper. Uh, and the biggest reason for that, as most of you know, I'm trying to get uh, finished with my reclamation project. And I say reclamation because uh, a lot of stuff I'm going through in boxes uh, that I haven't seen in a while, I'm like, oh, I'm like reclaiming stuff that I forgot I'd had or actually didn't know I had. So, uh, but anyway, I got a couple little... Uh, uh, little hauls, or actually one haul from a couple different dealers in the last couple weeks. Uh, some stuff that I actually did know that I needed to get or wanted to get. Uh, and then I found a, a little stack of uh, black and white magazines that uh, some I knew I had, some I didn't. Uh, so it's I thought it'd be kind of fun to show those. Okay, uh, first thing, I'm going to show some uh, Bronze Age Westerns. There's a Kid Colt Outlaw number 166. With a beautiful uh, Gil Kane cover, Doctor Von Chill. This one's for you. I'm sure you have this, or maybe I have seen it in your videos. Uh, but just a really cool cover there. Uh, One sixty-five, and that is probably a Ramita cover. Looks like to me. Not real sure, but uh, kind of got the Ramita faces. And it's got the cool uh, picture frame cover. Not really sure about who did the cover on this one. This is 163, uh, but another great uh, picture frame cover. And with these two, uh, 165 and 163, this completes my run of Kid Colt as far as the uh, picture frame covers go. I've got all those, so happy about that. Uh, another thing that I was aware of, uh, I was kind of going through some of my uh, Fourth World stuff, uh, Jack Kirby. And I know I had a an issue of Mr. Miracle missing uh, from that run, and it was number five. And so I was, and I'm not sure if it's because of the announcement of the of the New Gods movie or whatever, but I see a lot of the Fourth World stuff is really getting kind of pricey because usually I'll get on my comic shop, you know, to look for back issues, and they were like, and just that book by itself was, you know, anywhere upwards to forty to seventy dollars. Uh, just any kind of decent grade, and so I got on eBay, and I, you know, I hardly ever get on eBay anymore because it's getting kind of sketchy to me. And uh, but I did find a guy that had a lot uh, of Mister Miracle uh, with uh, number five in it, and it for that whole lot in a you know pretty decent shape. Uh, I found the number five and like four other issues for like half of what uh, I would have paid for that one book elsewhere. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, First one you have is, uh, like I say, I have all these except already except for number five. But uh, there's number three, Paranoid Peel. And I'm not going to complain about having duplicates of uh, Kirby stuff, so. Number 17. I'm a sucker for any 20 cent DC cover. Number 11, I always love this cover. This is really cool. Got some nice colors on it, too. Oh, oh excuse me. Uh, there's number 10. And the aforementioned uh, number 5. This is one I was missing, so really, really happy to get this one. Okay, uh... Like I said, going through those boxes, you know, I'm, uh, it's tempting to like, you know, open each and every one up that I haven't read in a while or one of my favorites, you know, and I've been doing pretty good about that. But uh, I saw these and it was just like in a laying loose in a box. I'm like, where did these come from? And uh, as I was kind of thumbing through them, I kind of remembered why I got them in the first place. On uh, some of them, I don't remember when I got them, but I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, these are all black and white magazines. This first one is, uh, I guess it's from maybe 1980 or so. Uh, yeah, I think about around 1980. Uh, this is called Questar. It's got a really cool uh, Boris cover on there. I guess Boris Vallejo. And the reason I got this, I found out, was because uh, this is from... Uh, well, I just said it was from 1980. I guess I'm pretty close. Yeah, it is 1980. The reason I, I got this one, I'm assuming, uh, is because 
It's got a lot of uh, science fiction articles in it and got some reviews of some books. Uh, but, if I can find it. Uh, the reason that I got this was because it had uh, some black and white Mike Grell art in it, which I thought was pretty cool. And like I say, this is all, uh, you know, science fiction anthology stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. But, you know, I'm a sucker for anything like Mike Grell, so uh, I thought this was pretty cool. I'm not really sure about any other. That was probably, uh, it's got some articles about some movies, you know, Superman and scanners and stuff like that, TV shows. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, another one, and I don't know why I've got two copies of this, is uh, Astral Comics number one. And, uh, you know, I thumbed through the inside. I there might be some pinups by Rich Buckler and some other people, but uh, the only reason I got this uh, is because, again, it was a Mike Grell cover, and I had never seen this. So I thought it was pretty cool. Kind of have a cross between Warlord and the Legion of Superheroes on that. And I'm not even going to thumb through because the whoever did the art in it is like, it, the art is terrible. So I'm not even going to, but I'm sure that's the only reason. For some reason, I got two copies of it. So uh, another magazine that I had, had never seen or don't even remember getting is another uh, sci-fi thing called the Galaxia Magazine Number 1. And it's got a really nice uh, Rich Buckler and Dick Giordano cover on it. I think the art is a little bit better in this one. I'm not really sure who's in it. But found an old Marvel graphic novel, uh, number 17, Revenge of the Living Monolith. And I think this might be like an early appearance of Apocalypse, maybe. I'm not really sure. But I like the story. That was pretty cool. Okay, uh, some more magazines. Savage Sword of Conan. Number 69. Really nice Joe Jusco cover. And number 56. I really like this. Uh, it's got a Nestor Redondo cover. I really like uh, Nestor Redondo. He did a lot of uh, mystery stuff for DC back in the 70s. Had a uh, had a nice little run on Swamp Thing after Bernie Wrightson left the original title. So some nice art in this one. Some really cool stuff in this, uh, and I, I did remember buying this. Uh, Epic Illustrated, I think this is number one. Ooh. Yeah, this is number one. So you got another really nice cover, Frank Frazetta. Uh, kind of see who the artists were in this. Uh, okay, you got art by Wendy Peeney. Uh, Bob Larkin, Jim Starlin, uh, Ernie Cohen, Arthur Sudam. Uh, yeah, just a whole lot of really nice artwork on this one. Got some color pages. And some of Jim Starlin's artwork. So, really glad to have found that one again. some uh, Hulk magazines. There's number 18. This is a Bob Larkin cover. And this is a run I'd really like to collect. I'm probably uh, halfway through getting this one. And this is my favorite uh, cover of the whole series, number 9. Uh, it's about Earl Norum. A little painted cover with the Avengers on it. Sorry about the glare. And uh, what I'll call really nice find. I, I do remember buying these, but I had forgot that I'd had them. Like I say, I've got a mess in there. But I found uh, the first six issues of uh, Charlton Magazine, Space 1999. Let's shout out for all you Charlton guys, and Steve, and Lawrence, John. So I think about all the covers and... Uh, I think most of the interior artwork is done by Gray Morrow, who I really enjoy. Uh, but if any of you remember this TV show from a kid, I really like the TV show. And uh, Charlton had a nice little run of this magazine. So there's number one. Number 
two. Three. And I'm not real, you know, I don't care about the, about the grade a whole lot, but these are, are really in uh, pretty nice shape uh, to be, you know, almost 45 years old. Number five, the Gray Morrow cover. I really like this one. And number six. Gray Morrow cover. Okay, guys, that's all I got for now. Uh, I always appreciate people tuning in and uh, leaving all the great comments. Uh, I really enjoyed the, the live stream I got to participate in uh, a week from last night. Uh, the Legion of Superheroes with uh, Silver Hair, Bronze Age Babe, and Metarog, uh, the Comic Collector, and uh, the King of Comic and Lawrence. So, uh, Hello to you guys and hello to everybody else and uh, hope to see you soon. Onward and upward.